All right, it's time now for some more headlines. New poll shows Governor Snyder ahead of opponent Mark Schauer, and that's just one of the governor's races across the country that are incredibly close. And the University of Michigan is in a little hot water. We'll talk about that. But first, I want to start with the governor's mm -hmm. race, Nolan. Um, we saw some new numbers out that give um, the governor a little bit of a bigger lead. But when I say bigger lead, we're talking about six points. Well, it's better than it was. I mean, he was tied or up two in the last round of polls. This new round, I think Steve Mitchell had it up four percent. Free Press has got it up six. The internal campaign poll last weekend had it up five. Um, that it's stretching a little for the governor. He's getting a little breathing room. Um, he's got to sharpen his, fo his, his message. He understands that. I think he's getting, you know, a little sharper elbows on the campaign trail. He's starting to answer some of the distortions of his record, which was essential. He let those, that messaging go unanswered throughout the summer. So I think he, he got the, um, the message that this, you're not going to coast a re-election. I'm seeing a little bit of a tone change here in the race a little bit, Stephen. And we're also seeing some different ads that are uh, raising some really eyebrows. awful ads. I mean, the governor's campaign has has produced some of the most bizarre advertising I've ever seen in a political campaign, starting with the, the scuba suit ad uh, right. early and then this weird churchy uh, ad uh, earlier with the weird music in the background and his strange voice. And now we've got this wedding dress ad, which is, I, I think, one of the most offensive things I've ever seen. I Which felt is put by the, by the Republican by. Governors Association. Absolutely. Right? It's, these are not uh, his ads per se. They're, they're running in lots of states. Uh, but, but it really just sort of says to, to women, you know, this is just about, this is just like picking a wedding dress. Picking a governor is no different uh, from picking a pretty dress. Uh, I've, I've seen the ad and it's like, it's, a, it's, it's almost like a spoof on Say Yes to the Dress, which is on <laughs> TLC. And I know some some of you are watching a little reality TV out there. Uh, and, and it seems in a, a, a not in good taste, Nolan. I haven't seen it, so, you know, I'm at a disadvantage here. But I, from the beginning, have thought, have thought that the governor has, you know, missed an opportunity to talk about a very compelling record and some pretty good list of accomplishments. And I, some of these ads have just been bizarre. And the whole comeback kid nonsense. I mean, right, he had a winning. That? He had a winning formula with one tough nerd. He should have took stuck to what worked. You you did say something to me though. Though if he's able to stretch the numbers a couple of more points, if he's able to get uh, what uh, maybe like an eight nine point spread, well there, that would that be, he'll be feel a lot more comfortable. Well, gosh, if he got eight nine, he'd be um, ecstatic. If he could get to consistently six and seven in these polls. It gives him a little breathing room, and it also helps the party down the ticket. And that's what Republicans are, are desperate for. I mean, I think most people in the party think he's going to win, but they want him to win by enough margin to help the people down people the ticket. Those. Yeah, but Mark Schauer is, is hammering on issues that people are listening to, like the, the recovery is not happening for them yet, yeah. and education. Yeah, well, and it's been effective. I mean, you see that the governor's numbers, even, even with this new... Uh, uh, spread, he's still only at 45%. For an incumbent, that's not great. A, a, a stronger, uh, uh, I, I still say, a stronger Democratic candidate would be ahead uh, of this governor at this point. The question is whether Mark Schauer will become that candidate uh, fast enough to, to, to beat him. But governors it's all over the country are suffering from the slow recovery of the national economy. You had the president out this week saying, um, you, you know, I understand people don't feel the recovery for these various reasons. Well, voters don't get a shot at him this time, but they do get well, a shot at him. But they had a shot at him two years ago, and they reelected him. And here's two years later, still a sluggish economy. These governors are paying a price for the fact that people don't feel their lives well, getting they're better. They're paying a price for and some of the choices they made. Like and incumbents, all, both in the Senate races and in the gubernatorial races, are struggling all over the country more than they should be. All right, good time to remind you that the uh, gubernatorial town hall moderated by all of us <laughs> will be happening on October 12th. We've got one minute left, and I want to get to U of M because what's happening over at your alma mater? Uh, you, you know, just because you went to state, you don't get to gloat now. Well, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> gloating, but they seem to have a terrible, A, communications yeah. problem, B, a bad PR problem, and what, do you think that we're going to end up seeing the ouster of Dave Brandon? Yeah, I, I, I don't know who's going to be able to keep their jobs after this, but but as an, all, as an alum, I'd like to see them have a, a more coordinated approach to dealing with this stuff and stop 
stop the screw ups. Um, you know, forget about the, the 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 season, which you know is sort of a disaster. But but putting a kid in uh, to play when he's got a concussion, that's just inexcusable. Uh, they got to clean that up. It goes against everything that they've been talking if, about in student athletes for years. If they were four last twenty seconds, Nolan. If they were four and zero, nobody would be talking about this. And those folks in well, Ann Arbor are not right? going to be happy until they can clone Bo Schembechler and bring him back. <laughs> oh. <laughs>